guys, welcome to The Crafty Mom. I am Adrian. I am so glad you're here. Today, I am going to share with you some organization tips. Tori from Home Staging by Tori Toff had invited me and a whole bunch of other YouTubers to join in on this organization um, collab. So I was super excited. I have many areas in my home that need to be organized. So I totally wanted to take her up on this challenge. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I'm doing, then keep watching. Okay, so my problem area in my home is my daughter's bathroom's sink. Underneath their sink is drives me nuts. But I want you guys to see it. I'm keeping it real. I haven't done anything to it. I haven't touched it. So you guys get to see it. what it looks like before and how I'm going to keep it organized and staying clean and neat and easy for them to put things back to. Here's the cabinet. Hair dye stain and all. I'm going to try to clean that off with a magic eraser. Hopefully that will come off. And here is the black abyss I call it. There is some organization things in there. If you can see that has fallen. I hope you guys can see this, but it's pretty disgusting. Are you guys getting grossed out about this? Oh, I know. But I took everything out of there under the sink cabinet. So it's plain. You can see in there now. And here's all the stuff all around. It's really not that much, but a lot of it's just hair products and stuff like that that I just need to organize a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So now I'm just going to wipe it down. I do like to put contact paper. It makes it so much easier to wipe um, this down when you're doing like a spring cleaning or something. So I that's one of the tips I use for cabinets like this. And I ran out of contact paper, so I didn't get that. And um, nothing really is going to go back there. But that's a tip is to put down contact paper especially if you're renting or even if it's your home, just it's way easier to clean up. Okay, so I finished. Um, I try to keep like items together. I like these little um, organizers that get handles are easy to take with you if you have to go somewhere. So here I just put all her like um, curling iron straighteners and I love this bag because you can put it away when it's hot, you don't have to wait for it to cool down. So that's really nice to have in there. And then here is just, it's like a, I think it's a magazine holder or a folder or something like that. I got these at Target for a dollar. And I just put a um, blow dryer in there. Keeps it nice and tidy. I have one of these in my bathroom as well. And then I put all their hair products. Maybe you can see it better this way. Um, right here. So they're all in one place. Like their detanglers and my daughter's hair dye stuff and just some like hair products and then here I just put a little thing of rubber bands and barrettes and then nail clippers if they need to clip them there's no drawers here there's their fake but um and then in the bottom I just put more hair stuff um q-tips and hair brushes and then up top just lotions and like for after the sun <laughs> when you're tanning or whatever, those types of lotions, and then, and then, um, band-aids, and then just their mouthwash, so that's it for that, I still have to take a magic eraser and clean that, but for the most part, it's done, I'm super excited, um, all this stuff I need to put away in my daughter's room, and I'm going to put those organizers somewhere else, so we are done, that was super easy, my tip is to keep when you're organizing, keep things that are like each other. So like for instance, the top is has to deal with skin. The middle is kind of doesn't go together, but I needed a spot there. And then the bottom is just like hair stuff and you know, more hair supply stuff and then those types of things. So that's my tip for when you're cleaning. Spring cleaning this um, season is um, pile things together that are like each other. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. 
All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and got maybe some organization tips. Thank you, Tori, for inviting me. This was super fun. Please be sure to look in the description box below to go to Tori's videos and everyone else who is joining in on this collab. Again, thank you so much. If you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe and follow. It would just be amazing. And don't forget to like, comment, and share, and I'll see you next time. Bye.